Even superheroes sometimes need some help, and that's what sparked an idea for a Lexington woman who started the Superhero Mask Project. Volunteers make and deliver masks to healthcare workers. As LEX 18's Alex Valverde tells us, in just a couple of weeks, the project grew to more than 800 members in several states. Catherine Kamei does it so, but that didn't stop her from wanting to help protect healthcare workers and others in need during this pandemic. So she made some calls and took to Facebook and started the Superhero Mask Project, a collection of volunteers who sew and deliver masks across the country. And I hope that the healthcare workers and other people that are out there on the front lines for us feel supported and know how much strangers around the country care for their well-being. The Facebook group offers sewing tutorials, and if you're not handy with a sewing machine, you can find information on providing supplies or delivering masks. We will match them with a the facility. We either provide a drop or mail location because it can overwhelm facilities to get people just walking up offering masks. There are now more than 800 volunteers who have sent out about 1,000 masks to seven states, including Kentucky. Since the CDC recommended everyone wear a mask in public, having hundreds of volunteers makes it easier for more people to access and use this protective gear. Brian Atkins, an emergency physician with UK and one of the project's founders, says not only do the masks offer protection, it's helpful for members. So not only are we preventing the spread of infection, but there is I think that there's healing and helping. I think that the opportunity for people to be able to put their hands to use to do something in their, uh, their free time to create something to help others, I think that adds to your happiness and boosts your immune system. So I think it's good for all. Showing you don't need superpowers to do a great deed. In Lexington, Alex Valverde, LEX 18 News.